Hello, Bob Smitty here, with another episode of The Wolf Among Us. Any minute now. Uh, um, yeah. All right, let's see. I should probably repair that. If the rooms are anything like the lobby, I should cut their rates. Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Oh, you. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So, now you know. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Beast is a proud man, Bigby. He wants to do right by me, and he, he just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. You should really tell Beast. He's worried about you. Yeah. I will, I will. I just need to in my own time. By the way, thanks for covering for me. So, what are you doing here? Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes. The... The troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. I talked to Tweedledee earlier today. He mentioned you in passing. Do you know him or his brother? I took out a loan for back pay. It was like our third notice. And ever since then, those annoying freaks have been pestering me for the money plus interest. Why take out a loan from those two? It was from the crooked man. Beauty. You don't know how desperate I was, Bigby. I had nowhere else to go. Look, if this ever happens again, come see me or Snow first, all right? I tried. Oh. The broken system. Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather... Sorry. How about Lily? Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job? Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? That's all we get here, Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Um, maybe I should ask this. Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? Oh, yeah. You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't Snow and went about my business. Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. That's what Beauty's been doing. Listen, Bigby, I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? 
I mean, it's it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just, well, you never know. It's not much of a report if I start picking and choosing which facts to include. I see. Well, here we are. Which one was it? Room 207, that's the one we need to go into. Not 204. You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. You have to let me in there. This is the room, 207. But I... This is the room Lily was in. Ugh, <sighs> fine. Sorry. I'm just trying to investigate. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, shit. Beast? Big oh, no. B? How could you do this to me? No, sweetie, no. Wait a minute. How <gasps> could you do this? We've been together through everything. I took care of you. I love- It's not what you think. Please. You're cheating on me? With him? Oh, crap. No, no, Beast. I promise I'm not. I'm helping him. That's all. I'll bet! I'm oh, sure oh, no. you help each other just great! Relax, Beast. It's not what you think. Stop lying to me! What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me! There's nothing going on! I'm not- <sighs> Hey! Bastard! I guess I finally see you for who you are! Stop! Stop it! You told me you hadn't seen her, you fucking liar! I don't want to hurt you, so just calm down and- Beast! Oh, come what on, man. What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me! She's my wife, Bigby! I told you! Just stop! Stop! Oh no. This is bad. Please! Leave him be! This is my fault! Please go! I don't understand! Oh, shit. Don't want to see this. Oh, wow. Beauty, stay in the hall. What? Why? What's going on? <gasps> oh, my God. Don't touch anything. Is this. Is this. Lily met her client here, Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then. Must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. I... so that's... Do you remember who rented this room last night? I don't think anyone did. Not last night. Maybe they have it long term. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. 
I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But Just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. Let's check the cassette player. I can't believe this. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. Uh, can we use it? No. Looks like she was lying down when she was... Killed. Flowers were already here. Uh, flower How petals. do you know that? Blood pattern. Also, I'd say the body was dragged off the foot of the bed. There. The body. Jesus. You could say she. Poor girl. I just can't even imagine. Let's see. Story we shouldn't book. even be in here. What is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Monday version of her story, anyway. Oh, wow. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Delicious. Puji Red Delicious Empire. Someone made notes in here. Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. What's it mean? Why mark the page where she's sleeping? Just looking at this page with snow in the coffin, I think Smith may have an obsession with death. Of course he's obsessed with death. He's a psycho killer. It goes right along with cutting off people's heads. I guess that's all we can do in the book. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. He brought wine. Classy. Wait. Oh my gosh. No, it can't be. Uh, that wine. It reminds me of the wine bottle from Ichabod Crane's desk. Uh, I don't know. Poor girl. Someone's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her and then and then he took it back off. No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. What what are you thinking? This is the same dress as the one in the book about snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it to recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. So this psychopath made that poor girl dress up like Snow White, then cut her head off. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... We can't know the answer to that. Every situation is different. Yeah. She must have been so scared. Anything else? <laughs> Do you smell something? No. Just apple. Huh. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? There's only one bite taken out of the apple. Whoever was eating it didn't get to finish. I think that might have been Lily. Mr. Smith attacked her while she was eating. He just jumped her while she was eating. It just keeps getting worse. God, I'm just having trouble processing all of this. This guy has some kind of weird snow obsession, but 
Then there's this other stuff, too. Killing her while she's eating? What? I guess she must have been doing it wrong or something. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. Uh, what's this? of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand-in for Snow is gone now, so... The next step closer. What is it? It's <gasps> Crane. <gasps> what the hell? I called it. I called it. Could be after you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. I'm really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. Hello, Big B. Take care of it, Big B, or I'll take care of it for you. Jesus Christ, Big B. Is that you? Whoa. How did you respond to Crane about Snow's death? You and 63.4% of players empathize with him. Or sympathized, I mean. How did you treat the murder suspect? Uh, forced him to talk. Ooh. Did you let Snow come with you? Uh, all right, most of us let her make her own decision. How did you handle Georgie Porgy? <laughs> well, we didn't hit him. Most people didn't hit him. Did you keep punching Beast when he was down? Well, that's good. I don't want to hit him too many times. Okay. Well, that was an interesting episode. Oh man, so we got three episodes left. Oh. That, I, I guess I kind of called it early on. Ichabod Crane, that, I remember the bottle of wine from the first episode. Here I was thinking it was the pimp. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's easy to say it's the pimp because, I mean, oh, he was like technical owner of Lily. Uh, oh man. <coughs> anyway, that was the end of episode two. Tune in next time when I attempt episode three, whenever it comes out. I'm not sure when, but. Telltale Games is supposed to be creating them faster, I think. Maybe. Hopefully. Because uh, it's kind of hard to wait for this stuff. It's, it's, it's really good. Anywho, that's all I have for now. I'll see you guys later.